What's up, my friends and the viewers of the tube? So uh, I want to go over some cool tips or a cool tip you can use to save on your credit card debt. I know a lot of people have credit card debt, and it sucks when you are paying 25% interest because that is a travesty. And if you're not making that money, someone else is. And if you own a credit card company, then you do pretty well for yourself because 25% interest, interest is insane. So how can you actually alleviate some of that? So let's get into the juicy, juicy details. Remember to like and subscribe, smash the like button and ring that notification bell. So what I mean by an LOC is a line of credit and you can get this through like a equity line of credit, HELOC, or your uh, business line of credit. Um, so there's all sorts of lines of credit you can do get from your uh, essentially from from a business or from whatever. And typically these are about a like four to twelve percent um, interest rate. And if you have uh, a credit card and you are paying 25%, all you have to do is essentially use your line of credit to pay down your credit card. And what I mean by this is don't keep spending on your credit card. Like take your line of credit, take the money from it, pay down your credit card, and then get rid of your credit card and then pay down your line of credit. This will save you a bunch of money because you're only paying half of the interest rate. And if we just look at what that is, like, let's just see if we can get a, uh, a calculator. Uh, let's do a credit calculator. Credit. This might work. And it's, it's pretty staggering to say the least. Uh, how much you pay in interest. So let's just say four, $4,000, your interest rate um, is 25%. Let's just say 24%. And your monthly payment is like 200 bucks. So your total interest paid would be $4,000 uh, and your total interest paid would be 1100. And if we change that to say, 10%, you're paying a fourth of that. So, I mean, it's just crazy how much of a difference that is uh, going from 10% at $400 in interest versus going in 20% at 884. Let's see what that is. So yeah, it's just crazy. Like three times as much for uh, not as much. So I think that it's super important to use if you have credit card debt and you are someone who is struggling with credit card debt it is my advice and i'm not a financial advisor or anything but pay down your one your lowest payment first and then obviously something with a ridiculous uh high interest payment so like your credit cards your uh and your lines of your store credit, all of that typically has a very high interest rate. And that's what I've always done. That's why I have like 800%, well, not 800%, but 842 credit score. Um, if I can just pull up my credit karma, I have to do my little, show my little face. I actually just ran my credit and it was 842 the other day, but on this little app, it's showing uh, 809 an A10, but uh, I do have quite a bit higher. These are just more credit karma and all those are more just for um, guesstimation. While if I, it's like for me, when I use my, when I get my credit ran, like for my TransUnion for when I bought my recent car, I had an 842 credit score. So uh, you just gotta know your credit score and take advantage of it and uh, take lower your credit utilization and that's how you get a great credit score. And then obviously use that trick of taking a line of credit that has a low interest rate and buying up your um, bad debt for your credit card debt, something that's a much higher percentage. So that's it guys. Until next time, remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.